Today is the next step of our 100 gigabit per second journey, and that is installing some new hardware. So we're going to be jumping right into it here, going over what I'm going to be using, and then you're going to go see me install this, and uh, yeah, it's going to be absolutely fantastic, guys. So first, what we have here is from FlyTechComputers.com. FlyTech, they're based out of Miami, Florida. They are an official Microtech dealer. And let me tell you what, guys. These guys have some of the lowest MSRP rates around. They, you won't find anything cheaper uh, when it comes to Microtech. Now, this here is one of the brand new CRS 510s. This here is the official sticker just saying, hey, this is a Microtech product. It is the CRS510-8XS-2XQ-IN. And when I pull this out, you guys are going to be like, that is so small, but that's awesome. This here is the switch itself. So our initial plan is to operate a primary switch upstairs. I'm going to pull this out of the sleeve here uh this is going to be our primary upstairs switch here for the network operation center we have dual hot swappable power supplies on the left side which is great because you can just pull them out you don't have to open this up we have eight 25 gig ports so technically these all could be 100 gig 100 gig and then these are independently 100 gig each so in theory there's um one two three four 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 100 gig uh, switching ports of capacity here this also can do which I like is you can also power this straight over what appears to be some DC power or the power supply so this is going to be upstairs you have two fans on the back and we're going to throw rack ears on this and it's going to sit right in our uh, offset um, rack now when we start looking at this We have our rack ear here. What these do is these sit on, because it's just a little bit shorter than the uh, 19 inches across. So this here will go on. And this box here, or sorry, this packaging here, uh, we have some rubber feet if we were to do a desktop mount. We have the screws for the rack ears. And what I like is we actually have the green adapter uh, if we were to make our own. I really do like that for the simple reason is sometimes you have to try to find which ones are which. I just had to do that for an Acedian Metro node and that was absolutely hell uh, trying to line up what's what. And they also give you dual 120 volt power supply cables. So this is fantastic guys. We're going to go upstairs and install this. Again, this is the CRS 510. but we're not done just yet. Okay guys, this is the cream of the crop for the core router series. This is the CCR 2216 uh, made by Microtech. This is a simultaneous 100 gigabit per second core router. It's huge, we have one already. This one is coming in through flytechcomputers.com. Again, they have amazing deals going on for Ubiquity and Microtech products. But I just wanted to take a quick moment here to show you what this actually uh, is and offers. And this is the series for the router here. Now, I'm gonna open this up so that way we can get a full view. We have what is 12 25 gig simultaneous ports and two 100 gig ports. You do have a one gig if needed. On the back side, we actually have these fans that when they are loosened up, you can actually pull them out, swap them. Same over here for your dual power supply. This thing is a beast. It's about 14 and a half to 15 inches in depth. So it's just a little bit bigger than the Ubiquiti, the, the uh, Dream Machine Pro and Dream Machine SE. But this is what we have here. We do have some accessories such as uh, the rack ears and also the ability to uh, rack mount this depending on your situation. We also include uh, some power cables here it looks like and some cable management clips.
Okay, so now that we got the majority of this build up here, what we're going to do is we have our UPS here, which is a trip light. We have a pile power supply, and then we have our main fiber. These are our feeders, and these are our ends. So this is going to come down and set just like this. Now we do have some bolts to put in here and this is just going to keep it so that way it does not fall down obviously like so and there's that one and then we're going to in right over there and we are aiming for a switch centric network meaning that uh, we have a lot of switches so that way we can have redundancy and if we need to move something we can just go switch to switch without needing to re-rack an entire thing so as we look up here we have our two, the main knock. This is going to go here in this one. We have another one that's going to go over to our Ookla speed test server. And then we have our Unify one, which is going to go up into our Ubiquity. I do have some gifts here, though. <laughs> if you really want to call them gifts, we got some of these SFP28s right here. So we're going to start populating some of these SFP28s right now. So that way they are good to go. We're going to be going into these very four. This is going to be for our feeder. So the way that we have this set up is that the feeder itself is going to come off of two switches. Um, I'm sorry, not two switches. It's actually going to come off of two of the CCR 2216s. So that way we have a 50 gig link on each one with VRRP set up. In the event that we have a total outage uh, on one leg of our network, we still are online. Granted, it is just a 50 gig backhaul to the core. It's still 50 gigs here, but everything else will still be the 100 gig switching capacity. And we also do have one of these 100 gig transceivers here. And that is what's going to uh, start to populate this beautiful switch. Again, this is from flytechcomputers.com. They're an authorized Microtech dealer. They have amazing, amazing deals. I mean, truly just amazing deals. And this is going to push down in. I was right the first time. 100 gig transceiver pushed in. This is ready to go. So this here is the setup. You cannot even hear this thing. This switch is super, super quiet. We have our 100 gig going back to our main knock PC. Number uh, four over, I'm sorry, number five over here will be dedicated to the Unify. We have our fetal lines connected. Over 25 gig transceivers. As you guys can see, we have dual power. One going into pile, one going into the UPS. This thing is just so, so quiet. It's super lightweight as well. It's not heavy. I really am liking the aesthetics that this is putting off in the upstairs office. Again, guys, this network upgrade has been in the process for many, many months now, and I'm glad you're able to visualize and see everything that we are doing. Flytech Computers has been a tremendous help in getting us online with our 100 gig platform here. You know, a lot of people will come to me and say, Austin, why do you need 100 gigs? One, the bragging rights is absolutely phenomenal. But besides the bragging rights, as an ISP, we provide BGP services to a lot of different providers. Uh, a lot of people will come with their autonomous systems number, their ASN, and that will allow us to advertise their IP space. They set up a tunnel because it's their IP space from here in Pittsburgh, and it will go out anywhere in the world thanks to GRE tunnels, L2TP, 
uh, wire guard and the like. So that is why we need this 100 gigabit per second internet speed is because we are supplying and powering those customers, those carriers, and those end users who need the bandwidth to get into these internet exchanges. It's very, very unique. Again, I own Rackify, Ares, and IXISP. So we have a lot that is relying on a solid network here. Uh, we have our NNI circuit in here. We actually have that very first CCR 2216. We got another one downstairs, as you saw, brand new in the box. That will be my next video as we begin to get that installed. So be sure to hit subscribe. Check out flytechcomputers.com for ubiquity and microtech deals. And thank you so much for the continued support. Thank you.